today, boys and girls, we've already been learning a lot. Um, like in the previous lessons, we've already gone over these vocabulary cards, among other ones. Um, and then we also, just the day before, read a story about bears and um, differences between the cubs and the adult bears. And so and we did a Venn diagram comparing and contrasting. So we're going to now apply that to a story about eagles and eaglets. Um, and eagles is the name of the adult of that type of animal, and then eaglets is the name of the offspring. Um, and so what you're going to do today is with the partner, you're going to get to read the story about eagles and eaglets. And when you do it, you're reading elbow to elbow, knee to knee. And you can help your partner out if they don't understand how to pronounce a word, because that's what really good partners do. Um, and as you're reading your story, you're going to look for differences between the body of an eagle and an eaglet. And my students um, have the color textbooks, so they also got to use the colors um, in the different pictures of like the bird's beak or its feathers, but you won't be able to see the color. Um, and then, so you're going to read through the story, and then you have a recording sheet on the back side, and it's just split. On this side you have eaglet, so you get to describe the eaglet's body, and over here you have eagle. So you'll get to say the two things that are similar. So like the other day when we were doing bears, we talked about how the cub and the adult bear, um, there was differences between what they eat, and the cub drinks only milk. Does anybody know what bears eat? Does anybody remember from yesterday what bears eat? Salmon. Salmon, yeah, they eat salmon. Honey. Hikers. <laughs> <laughs> and so meat, so we talked about how they eat both plants and meat, um, which is different. And then we also talked about how the bear, when it's a cub, it's pretty much furless, which we were kind of surprised by. It doesn't have much hair, but the adult is covered in brown fur. Um, so today, when you're reading about eagles, you're going to, right here, um, about an eaglet, and then the similar thing, or the difference, for the eaglet. Does anybody have any questions? Okay, perfect. So, you'll just get to read with your partner, and then you can find a spot around the room, get your pencils, and record as you're going together. Did you bring a pencil? I did not. Oh, so you can get your pencils, and you can find a spot around the room. We'll just read. Okay. Did you want to go first? All eagles are birds. The baby. Let's read about how eagles are like their Okay. Do I, should I just read this first page? Sure. Okay. Bald eagles are birds. The baby birds are four offspring are called eaglets. Let's read about how eaglets are like their parents. Mother eagles nesting time. All birds lay eggs. All eagles build their nests on the top of trees so the eggs will be safe. Their nests are built of sticks and grass. They add onto their nest each year and they can become huge. These giant nests can be as large as nine feet across. That's bigger than your bed. The mother eagle lays from one to three eggs. She sits on her eggs until they hatch, then both parents watch from the nest. At first, the eaglets are helpless. They cannot walk. They need their parents for food. They also cannot see well. Birds are not mammals. They do not have milk to feed their young. They hunt for food. Eaglets also need their parents for safety. Eaglets grow up. Bald eagles use their sharp eyes to hunt. They use their strong wings to fly fast. They also use their claws and beaks to catch fish. Young eaglets must learn all these things. They cannot live on the earth. Unlike mammals, birds have feathers, not fur. An eagle is born covered with soft gray down and cannot fly until it grows dark feathers like its parents. The eagle stays near the nest until its wings grow strong. That takes about five months. Oh, oh okay, right. 
and Eaglet becomes an adult when it has learned to do all the things that its parents do. This takes about five years. All eagles can stay alive for up to 30 years. Bald eagle soar. Once it learns to fly, the bald eagle can soar for hours. The bald eagle must take good care of its feathers. It uses its beak to groom itself. It must keep its feathers clean. Can you believe this powerful eagle to be a helpless baby? Um, so we have color, right? Gray and then yeah, adults. Um, and then said what they can. Yeah, it can't walk. Yeah, can't, can't find its own food. Can't, can't find its own food. Can't fly. Can't fly. Can't fly. Can't fly. Can't fly. It's really helpless. Yeah, it can't really take care of itself. Yeah. Um, The baby is, or the eaglet is gray, and then the eagle is obviously has dark feathers, dark, dark and white. And then what did your guys <coughs> The eaglet, she can't fly until five months. She has stayed by the nest. And what's important about how the eagle can fly? How does that get different things to the eaglet? Do you guys catch on to anything like that? Their wings get strong. Yeah. Well, my kids came up with that, um, that because it can fly, it can bring back the food to the nest because they can't go off into their own. And then what is it? Um, the eaglet can't see very well. The eagle can see very well. <laughs> An eaglet cannot walk. <laughs> no, we're gonna find um, The eaglet stays in the nest while the eagle soars for hours. Ooh. Great. Right. 